Hi, I'm Katie, a Hobbycraft artisan and artist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some basic techniques to create your very own wildflower meadow painting. Let's get started. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel and click the bell icon to be notified when new videos are posted. For this project, you will need acrylic paper pad, a palette, Pebeo Studio acrylics, a sponge, a pencil, a fan brush, a flat wash brush, a round brush, an angled brush. Begin by placing down some cobalt blue, titanium white and yellow ochre down on the palette. Drag out some of the cobalt blue and add to the white, adding small amounts until you get your desired sky blue colour. Apply this to the top third of the canvas using a flat wash brush. You can use a cross hatching motion to achieve a good and even coverage. Apply some white at the base of this sky colour. And then drag a small amount of yellow ochre into your blue mix, also adding some white and blend this into the sky at the bottom to create a hazy horizon line. Blend out with a damp brush if needed. Add some clouds to the sky using white paint and a textured sponge. You can dampen your sponge a bit to get a more blurred and subtle cloud. Dab the sponge to create a fluffy cloud texture at the tops of the clouds and slowly blend down so the bottom of the clouds blends into the blue of the sky. Before moving on to the next step, leave until it is dry. Mix some earth green with some white to get a base grass colour. Apply this with a flat wash brush to the bottom half of the canvas, up to just before that horizon line we made earlier. When you reach this point, use up and down flicking motions with the flat edge of the brush to imitate grass blades. This will overlay the horizon line. You will need to load your brush up quite frequently in order to get the fine lines for the grass blades. Once dry, add some cobalt blue to your green mix and a touch of white. The blue should make the colour more of a dark teal. Apply this over the green with the flicking motion used earlier to create more grass blades, this time separated but still fairly condensed. Next you will need to mix another variety of green to add more depth to the grass. You can make your green mix slightly lighter or darker and continue adding blades of grass using the flat edge of your brush. For the more prominent blades of grass, I like to use the green earth as it is out of the tube to apply larger and longer blades that protrude out of the top of the field more.
Finally, make a lighter tone of green and layer smaller blades over the top, focusing on the front of the field as these are the highlighted areas and will be more in the foreground. Using the lighter green, add in around three to four stems using the same technique as for the grass blades. From these stems, add leaves alternating up on either side. If you are lacking contrast here, then you can add more white to make them pop more. Before moving on to the next step, leave until it is dry. Mix some cobalt blue, white and a hint of cadmium red to create a blue violet colour. Switch to a round brush, I'm using a size 4, and load the brush with colour. From the stems painted previously, apply clusters of buds by touching the brush down and pulling away. You can do two to three of these in one cluster and add these clusters alternating down the stem. As you get lower down the stem, you can add bloomed flowers by painting a simple star shape. I like to make these bigger as I move lower down the canvas to give it a bit of perspective, but generally varying the sizes will make the composition look more natural. Next you will need cadmium yellow on your brush. Choose where you want to put your larger flowers. I recommend three or five of these. Working around a point, paint in the petals. To create the petals, place down your brush and letting the bristles flare. As you pull towards the point, reduce the pressure and move the brush onto the tip and then off the paper. Repeat the petals around the point to create the flower head. Using the same technique, use white paint to add in daisies. These can be smaller than the yellow flowers. Using cadmium red with a hint of black mixed in, dot some poppies around the field by painting in some rounded heart-like shapes. Continue adding a variety of the different flowers until you are happy with the composition. Mm -hmm. 
Add highlights to your flowers by mixing white with the base colour and apply this where the light source would be falling. Use a dry brush and a lighter shade of cadmium yellow and pull out from the centre of the larger flowers over about half of the petal to add highlights and texture. Using a raw sienna black mix, make large centres on the bigger flowers. You can use a dotting motion to create a seed-like texture. Fill in the centres of the other flowers as desired. You can also add some stems if you feel like your flowers need to be a bit more grounded. Finish off your painting by defining the clouds with a bit more white and adding highlights and shadows using watered down grey for shadow and watered down white for highlights. Finally, you can add splatters to your painting to create the effect of seeds and particles dancing in the air. Visit hobbycraft.co.uk to book a workshop find your next craft project or learn a new skill. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a thumbs up and we'd love to see your thoughts in the comments below. See you again soon for more videos.